This is Twit. Hey, good to see everyone. So I don't know about you, but I am constantly going back and forth between my phone and a computer. Sometimes it's my Windows desktop here in the esteemed Android Intelligence International headquarters. And sometimes it's a Chromebook out and about in the world or even just around my own house in the evening. And while Google's got a really great, super simple cross-device file sharing feature called Nearby Share, you can only use it on Android devices and Chromebooks. It's pretty limiting. We've been hearing about an expansion that bring that system to Windows for a while now, but so far we haven't seen any actual signs of that becoming available. And if you're using a Mac or a Linux desktop, well, you're just completely out of luck. Or so it seems. Today, we're going to get into some simple steps for smarter sharing between your Android phone and whatever kind of computer you're using. And we'll start with the simplest part of all, text. I mean, seriously, how awesome would it be if you could just copy something on your phone and then go paste it onto your computer a second later, or vice versa for that matter? Google had a way to do that for a while. It was tucked away as an off-by-default experiment in Chrome, but at some point, the company stopped working on it and the option just disappeared. You've got a couple really great options for making that same sort of thing happen now, though. And once you get them set up, well, they couldn't be much easier to use. So up first, if you're using Windows on the computer front and you don't mind ditching Gboard on Android, the simplest option of all is to rely on the Microsoft SwiftKey keyboard on your phone. It's got an option deep within its settings that'll let you sync your phone's clipboard directly to Windows. Once you activate that, all you've got to do is go into the system section of your Windows settings, find a clipboard area there to flip on two connected options on that side. Now, if you aren't using Windows or you'd rather just not use SwiftKey, there is another really, really good alternative for you. It's an app called Clipped. Clipped. Not the easiest name to say, but install that thing on your phone, then install the companion Chrome extension on whatever computer you're using, and any text you copy on your computer will just automatically appear in your phone's clipboard and be ready to paste wherever you want. On the Android front, you'll have one extra step. After you copy something, you've got to tap on a persistent notification or a special quick settings tile, and that'll send any text you copy into the synced clipboard. And once you do that, it'll just be there on your computer and waiting. All that's left is to hit Control V to paste it anywhere you want. Pretty handy stuff. And in terms of privacy, Clipped is actually created by the same company behind OnePlus. So a pretty known, pretty well-trusted developer. The app doesn't see or store any of your data or anything like that. It relies on your own personal Google Drive storage to securely sync all of your stuff. It's free to use too, and man, believe me, it'll make your life a heck of a lot easier. We'll pick up here next week and talk about an insanely simple way to share files between your phone and any computer you're using without having to rely on that nearby share system. And hey, remember, you can get all sorts of advanced Android info like this in your inbox with my Android Intelligence newsletter. You'll get three new things to try every week, it's completely free for you. Just head over to androidintel.net slash twit to get your first issue and get a few custom bonus tips while you're at it. That site again is androidintel.net slash twit. I'll see you there and I'll see you right back here next week. JR just keeps bringing the awesome. That's a great, cool. a great app. Um, I've never heard of Clip. That like was, that's maybe very cool. we've it, talked about it at, at some point, maybe. Echoes. But, uh, Echoes of Push Bullet. Yeah. For sure. Oh, Push yeah. Bullet. Yep. Oh. If, there, if there's an app Hall of Fame, Push Bullet should be in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Yep. Haven't used it in a very long time. Neither do, neither mm -hmm. do I, but it always, but, every now and then it nags me to log into my new phone when yeah. it installs the app and I just don't use it. But yeah. yeah. So. I mean, Push <laughs> Push Bullet Hall of Fame, not necessarily because it's still an app that I use, but there was a certain no, time where it was, it was I used changer. it all the time and it really yeah. was revolutionary. It, it, yeah, it, really, it, it really changed the game at the moment it came out in terms of what you could do between computer to phone kind of interaction and yeah. other apps followed, clearly clipped, you know, yep. inspired by it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely it, it, it for what it did at the time, that's what gets it into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff, JR. Thank you for always bringing it. And uh, sounds like there's another part of this coming next week. So stay tuned for that. 
Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and I am the host of Hands On Photography here on Twit TV. I know you got yourself a fancy smartphone, you got yourself a fancy camera, but your pictures are still lacking. Can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means? Watch my show. I got you covered. Want to know more about just the ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that too. So check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today.